J.R. Ewing from Dallas. Baxter was suggested to him by a classmate. When they were about to graduate and they prepared everything for a graduation newspaper. And one of the questions was, which job do you want to pursue? To which Hans Peter replied, a pop star. And then one of his classmates asked him, why don't you call yourself H.P. Baxter then? And of course, the two X in Baxter not only make for an eye catcher, but they also relate to the double E in his last name, Gerdes. Fact number two. H.P. Baxter's first musical love wasn't electronic music. No. His first musical hero was the renowned rock musician and guitarist Richie Blackmore, who was a founding member of the hard rock band Deep Purple. Baxter also played in a local rock band before in the late 70s and 80s he got increasingly interested in synth-pop bands like Depeche Mode or The Cure. His love for rock and guitar-oriented music hasn't vanished though, and even found its way into Scooter songs multiple times. For instance, in the 1997 single Fire, which includes a distorted guitar riff and has become a life staple for the band. And well, Baxter even plays a guitar model that spreads sparks on stage, so there you have it. In addition to that, many Scooter songs also make use of samples and elements of many older rock songs. For the 2007 song and music video Jump That Rock, Whatever You Want, they collaborated with legendary rock band Status Quo. Fact number three. Scooter wasn't the first project that both H.P. Baxter and Scooter founding member Rick Jordan were a part of, were involved in. Because prior to the formation of Scooter in 1993, they formed Celebrate the Nun in 1985. Nuns also can be celebrated at times, I guess. With Baxter on vocals, Jordan on keyboards, H.P.'s sister Britt Maxime playing e-drums and Slint Thompson on synths and drums, the group released two albums in the span of almost eight years before disbanding in 1992. This is what Scooter frontman H.P. Baxter has to say in hindsight about his project Celebrate the Nun. Ich glaube, wir waren ähm, tick zu spät mit der ganzen Musikrichtung. Und als wir dann loslegten, da Mitte der 80er irgendwann, da war das eigentlich schon ja, der Trend vorbei, da kam schon langsam das nächste. Out of these musical ashes, the short-lived remix project The Loop emerged, which then transformed into Scooter. H.P. Baxter switched from being a singer to functioning as the band's MC, the so-called Master of Ceremony. It's nothing satanic or occult, it's typical for this style of music. Instead of singing, he shouts lines, accompanies the music and works as the band's glue and public face. Baxter and Jordan continued their almost 30-year collaboration until Jordan left the group to pursue other interests in early 2014. Fact number four. Scooter are way more successful than many people may assume at first glance. And I guess despite many people saying something like, oh well, yeah, Scooter, that uh, techno electronica band from back in the day, yeah, you know, Eurodance and whatnot, they had one or two songs that I know of, but that's it, yeah, not a big act necessarily. Hate to break it to you, but Scooter sold more than 30 million albums worldwide, which on its own is crazy when you think about it. This not only makes the band the third most successful German artist worldwide in terms of sales, but also set a record for the most top 10 singles of any German act ever. Adding up to that, the world's biggest music company, Universal Music, has bought the recording rights of the entire Scooter discography. And while the exact sum remains unknown, I guess it's fair to say that it will have paid off for Baxter and his bandmates quite well. And fact number five. Current Scooter keyboarder Jay Frog, in fact, isn't a new member by any means. Quite the opposite, actually. He's an old member. And I'm not talking about his age or his creative experience, but the fact that he already was a Scooter member back in the day from 2002 to 2006. So he's basically the lost son that came home. By the way, his predecessor, Michael Simon, still works with the band in his new position as a copyright manager at the publishing company Sheffield Communications Publishing, which belongs to the well-known German electronic music label Contour Records, of which H.P. Baxter also owns a share. Contour Records CEO Jens Thiele has also functioned as the band's manager and co-producer ever since their formation. And that's why, in a way, he's also considered the fourth band member. Even though I also listen to like progressive metal and whatnot, I also listen to this stuff. I just like it. 
And because I do, I also made another video about Scooter before, and I also dedicated a whole podcast episode to them. It's episode 101 of the German podcast, and you can find a link to that in the video description down below. As always, if you enjoyed this, subscribe, like, share, and if you want to support this channel even more, feel free to become a member on patreon.com slash definitely. That really, really makes a difference and helps a whole lot. So thank you very, very much for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Definitely see you next time. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.